Hey everyone, this is Wilder and I'm back with a new video. So today I thought I would talk about myself and how I often find myself being hurt throughout my life. And it's actually expanding on a video I did two years ago, which I'll show you a clip of now. I've realised that when I was younger, I was very prone to getting myself into danger and painful situations. Wow, look at that terrible lighting. I'll put a link to that video down in the description place and you can check that out if you want. So yeah, here's another few times where I've managed to hurt myself. Enjoy! So there's a place in Scotland called Dumbling and my family and I during the summer often go up there and we normally go to this park that's right next to the big river that goes through it. And it's not that deep at the river bank so it's normally safe to just paddle in with your feet. And yeah, but when I was younger we went there and being just a wee laddie at the time, I was told not to go any further out than I was, not to go far out into the water because I was small and water was strong and current and yeah. Did I listen? No. <laughs> that would just make things easy for me. My stupid tiny little mind at the time decided I'm going to walk further out and that's what I did until I fell into a deep bit of water and <laughs> was dragged away by the water. That was not good. The currents were dragging me down the river. I couldn't swim at the time. I was under the water. Thankfully, my dad managed to jump in and grab me and get me out. So, yeah, that's an obscene. I think the moral of that story is, don't fuck with water. It will drag your ass down. Stream. That was terrible. I'm sorry. When I was younger, I used to love climbing trees. I mean, I still do, but... Now that I'm older, it's not socially acceptable to, for me to go climbing trees like a monkey anymore, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, when I was younger, I used to climb trees all the time, and it was a fun pastime. I'm not going to lie, I enjoyed it immensely. Well, one of these times when I was climbing, I was hanging from a branch, just, you know, casually hanging, and I started to lose my grip. It was all very intense, I tried to pull myself up, but I couldn't. My fingers were just losing their grip constantly. I couldn't get back up onto the tree till eventually. I fell. It wasn't too bad. I mean, I landed mostly upright, except for my legs, because when I fell, my body decided it'd be a good time to fall and land in the splits. That was really not nice. It was very painful on my <clears throat> parts. Guys out there, <laughs> be aware of that if you're climbing trees. It's not very fun. No, it wasn't just trees that I used to climb all the time. Oh no, I used to just climb anything I could. Including a house one time. I was actually very lucky with that one. One time I was with my friend who stayed just around the street from me. And I was climbing up the side of his house. Because I enjoyed Spider-Man and I thought, Oh, I'm going to be like Spider-Man and climb this house. Did that work? No. For one, I don't have superpowers that allow me to stick to any surface, so I had to use the drain pipe instead. That was not too bad. I got quite far up the house until again I started to lose my grip. I just fell. Oh. I said, no, I said at the start that I was lucky, and I was, because I could have broke my back or worse by falling from that. Because I was just a wee wane at the time. But. Thankfully, my friend was underneath me, and I fell and landed on top of him. Surprisingly, none of us were badly injured, even him despite me falling from like three quarters of the way up a house on top of him. So yeah, we were both fine, we both survived that with no injuries. Word of advice, don't, don't clean houses, people, that's not good, don't do that. Don't clean houses, not unless you have a friend and if you're willing to let you fall on top of them and possibly crush them. Now this final story is a more recent one, a lot more recent actually. It only happened a few days ago on Wednesday. Now I had a camera and it was packed into its bag case thing and I was trying to take it out. Now me being me, I don't just take it out gently, you know, slowly wet unwedging it. No, me, I decided to go and as you can imagine, the camera 
went straight up, hit my forehead. This was a full blown DSLR and it smacked into my forehead and it was bloody painful. No, at the time I thought, oh well, it's also going to be a bit painful. I just got hit in the head. It wasn't until about 5 10 minutes later that I went up to rub it and felt something wet and sticky. Brought my hand back down and there was blood. I managed to cut my own head with a camera because I'm just that stupid at bringing it out of its case. So yeah, if you ever take a camera out of its case, don't, don't force it, don't be too quick. Be sure to be careful and not smack your own head with it. That's some good advice from me. That's it for this week guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy hearing about me and how I managed to keep hurting myself throughout my life, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And why not comment down below some of the stupid things you've done to make yourself get hurt. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you get updated whenever I make new content. Bye!